here we are number eight in the 35 ways to increase your business is create a buzz around your business now apart from your own social media uh, your own Instagram your own Facebook of course anything noteworthy within your business you need to let your local uh, your local newspaper or your local article writer center management if you happen to be around or in a shopping center anyone that's going to be able to advertise that that buzz uh, to their group to their local community so uh, if there's something noteworthy happening within your business maybe you've got somebody uh, famous coming by or uh, perhaps you've uh, made a new product or you've just brought in a new product or um, something is going on in your industry uh, pretty much anything new local newspapers are going to want content uh, to share with their audience so it's certainly not going to hurt for you to get into contact with them and let them know that you've got something going on so this is this is win-win for both you and and the uh, the local paper and stuff like that so um, anyone basically anyone that is going to reach out and let their community know that's who you want to uh, that's who you want to get into contact with and it's going to be worth keeping those people uh, on your contact list as well and stay in touch with them and let them know what's going on with your business so um, obviously you're you're letting these things uh, go on your Instagram and, and your local pages as well but uh, don't be afraid to reach out to your local newspaper uh, these guys are starting out their careers obviously in their local papers and they're, they're going to want to grab any any sort of content that they can so anything that uh, that you seem you want to tell people they'll want to tell people too so perhaps uh, you've won an award for something or one of your products has, has won some kind of an award um, this is newsworthy stuff that they can put into their into their local paper or their uh, their um, their publication as well so could even be an ad within the shopping center uh, anything that's going on you want to try and let these people know so let your local community know because believe me they want to know what's going on in their community as well so they want to know the successes that small business are having in their community so by all means don't be afraid to reach out to them because they want to hear from you okay here we go number nine in the 35 ways to improve your business number nine is to hold regular promotions now depending on what your business is you may have monthly events um, I, I probably wouldn't do it too often because you want a little bit of you know exclusive something to look forward to so monthly events give your community something to look forward to so don't have them too regularly uh, they'll also give you a reason to reach out and contact your marketing list so we have an upcoming event we would like to invite you to it also uh, creates a little bit of exclusivity um, when other people hear about it their friend may be invited and they want to be invited to so they'll reach out to you how do I how do I get on the list how do I become a member and uh, and it gives you a reason to to add them to your own marketing list so uh, create your own promotion or event you can also get involved with other local businesses or charities um, who may complement your business so there may be other businesses around and together or a group of you may put together a, a certain function uh, or promotion uh, that will be mutually beneficial to to you all uh, so I, I recently had two customers that came together and uh, one was a butcher and one was a barbecue store so a barbecue retailer now of course these two don't compete against each other but together they were massively beneficial um, so to, to have the butcher come and and, and cook meat on uh, on one of the barbecues you we had two uh, two positives there one was um, the barbecue was up and running and you could see exactly how it works and two the butcher could show off his his produce and uh, 
and, and give out tastings and things of how good it is. So uh, non-competing, but absolutely beneficial. And you can see here, um, by having this sort of, you know, this sort of thing going on outside, if you had uh, the buzz of uh, somebody cooking on one of your barbecues out the front of your store, uh, this creates a lot of a lot of buzz, and uh, people will just stop and, and nosy and find out what's going on. It's, it would smell amazing. Um, so have a think about your business and how how can you create a promotion or hold a monthly promotion. And, uh, and are there any other businesses that would be mutually beneficial in that as well? So uh, something to think about there. And um, I'll leave a little link below of some ideas and things depending on what your, uh, your business may be. And by all means, uh, jump back on our Facebook page and put your ideas in there. Let's, let's talk about, let's throw some ideas around with each other. Jump on there and um, and hashtag promotion your idea as well because we'd love to and if, you, if you're doing this by all means we'd love to see some photos and stuff and hear about some success that you've had as well so go ahead and do that and um and and get the buzz happening around around a promotion in your business number 10 in 35 ways you can improve your business now is revisit your pricing strategy when was the last time that you checked your price compared to your competitors out in the market? Has your supplier increased wholesale prices? All these sorts of things sometimes get left behind and it's okay to increase prices, uh, especially with modern you know, shipping is increased, wholesalers put up their prices, all these sort of factors uh, into it. And, uh, and it's okay to revisit your prices. So uh, is your rounding, does your rounding need attention? So uh, for example, 52.50, can it be rounded to 54.95? Now, believe it or not, I have had a lot of discussion with retailers regarding the 95 cents. Some people say, no, it should just be $55 even. Um, but there is still psychological benefit to going the 95 cents. It's, it's been tested and it is proven to still work that 95 cents or 99 cents or um, rounding it like like that still does work. I would I would cut it off at $100. Uh, $99.95 is one thing. $499.95 is a little bit too much. I would anything over a hundred dollars I would just round it whole dollars uh, but up to one hundred dollars by all means uh, you know fifty five ninety five or eighty nine ninety five you know those sorts of prices uh, is still quite relevant today so double check your pricing and uh, make sure you you are making the money that you need to out of the product that you are selling uh, because depending on how many you sell you know, if you sell 100 items over the year, just rounding it up 50 cents or $1.50 is, is quite considerable. So check your pricing, uh, revisit it if necessary. Um, if you don't need it, then you don't need to, but make sure it's it's on your list of things to check and adjust it where required to, because uh, costs are forever going up and we need to stay on top of that sort of thing. So. Um, so that's number 10 there, is revisit your pricing strategy. Thanks very much for watching. As a bonus, reaching the end of this video, I'd love to give you a bit of a, a gift. It is a free guide, 35 ways to improve your business. No matter what your business, be it a brick and mortar store, maybe you have an e-commerce store online, perhaps you even have a market store, any of these sorts of uh, versions of retail, this guide will be able to help you. Just download the guide by clicking the link at the bottom of this uh, of this video and follow through and download that. As a bit of a bonus as well, I'll shoot you back some questions and you are entitled to an obligation free online business analysis. This is a bit more tailored to your business. Uh, if you answer the questions that I email back to you, I'll put together something it's a little more specific for your use. So this is obligation-free obligation, uh, obligation free and it won't cost you anything at all. So 
some ideas for you there. And a third little bonus just for watching my videos and hopefully joining my membership uh, is the ClickFunnels Brick and Mortar Summit, which is video series on brick and mortar marketing. So some good video series there from the guys at ClickFunnels that will also be sent through to you there. So some good, uh, some good free little things for you to help your marketing, your store and your retail geek. Hopefully you can go through and download those and by all means uh, hit subscribe to get any more tips and tricks that I send through and hopefully join the membership below as well. Uh, within that membership, you're going to constantly get updates and, uh, and receive a whole bunch of valuable information as well. So go ahead and do that and best of luck with your journey.